What's up everyone? Damn boys, back at it. So, after launching Madden Genius Facebook group, go join right now. It's for folks to help each other answer questions. One of the most common questions that I'm noticing is, what playbook should I get into? I want to switch my playbook up, things maybe getting stale, whatever it is, right? Not having success in your current playbook. Let's cover why. You're going to see the same answers. So what we're going to do is talk about why. What formations and schemes within these are going to make them worth running. So brief overview of all of the usual suspects. We're going to start with Saints. Saints is if you want to be in shotgun, there are great passing options. There are great running options out of shotgun. So if you want to do that kind of stuff out of shotgun, this is your option. Gun Taysom Hill. QB Blast, that's where I start my scheme. You'll need fast break on your quarterback, but you can start from there, and now you can audible right back and forth between any of this stuff. Uh, tight offset, tight end is an extremely overpowered formation. Uh, they've got a fairly good bunch, some good man beater type stuff in there. Uh, Trey Y Flex is great, you've got Dagger. They've got a read option as well, so you've got that running quarterback. You've got some ways to do some of that stuff in there as well. Uh, empty Trio has a nice little uh, jet touch pass. So those would be some of the kind of different things that I would utilize within the Saints playbook. Uh, I will say at a tight offset, the inside zone and the trap, depending on how they set up their defense and, and you understanding that, can also be very effective runs. You can run this inside zone versus one four six, so there's another advantage. So let us check out the next playbook. So the next playbook we're going to get into here is going to be West Coast. So the reason I would utilize West Coast is if I want to have some good balance in how I attack you. Um, formationally even, right, as we go. So less of this is going to be connected uh, through audibles. Some of it you still can, but a little bit less uh, just because you've got excellent options at a single back with double nor uh, doubles north. Uh, you've got slot corner, in my opinion, one of the best plays in the game, some good run stuff in there. So you've got a, a really effective eye, uh, or excuse me, single back. Then you get into eye form. You've got eye tight, some eye tight stuff in there you can run. Uh, you've got I close, which is another nice little formation uh, with good running and passing plays. Uh, so again, you'll find some good balance. Uh, you've got you know the near close flex meta that you're seeing now uh, with the dive and the smash is really kind of the, the primary two plays you're seeing there. Uh, West Coast bunch was real popular earlier in the year, so you've also got a great shotgun. Um, I like stick quite a bit. You can motion that, motion snap that corner, that shallow corner out, do some things with that. Um, if you're curious, you can watch Pavan stream. He runs this still, I think. Um, so again, you've got good balance top to bottom. So let's get into the next playbook. All right, guys. So the next playbook we're going to cover is going to be Raiders. This is for you run first, guys. Uh, probably going to be the easiest offense, you know, lower difficulty to run and the Raiders is the best playbook for conventional runs reason being conventional runs are best done out of one wide sets we can come up to the line of scrimmage look at the defense see how they're playing and we have access to any run type in the game and they are all very effective versions of said run type so I always started out in H wing you can look in the pods or go on my YouTube I have dive and stretch alert looky ready to go uh, if I don't like what I see, I add a little over into strong tight, which is just one formation to the left. I have dive, stretch, counter weak, all on deck for sure, those three. After that, the fourth one's up to you. Uh, you can run those, start flipping stuff around, motion, and, you know, really screwing with the defense a bit. Uh, and primarily, I'm only other than that just going to use eye tight we all know or a lot of us do eye tight we've seen that as a meta all year people have run that you've got your stretch in here you've got your iso in here you've got a power in there um, so really it's those three formations and the ability to utilize those 
in a way that is very difficult if you understand how to beat the defense you're looking at pre-snap. There's an answer for about everything. So that's why you'd utilize that. So the next playbook we're going to go ahead and talk about is going to be the Patriots, which is a, a definitely a, a bit of a pass-heavy, obviously it's known as that formation or playbook, but I will give you some ways where you can absolutely go ahead and very effectively run. And I'll show you some passes. So uh, what I would say is if you want to run this Y off, 95 Willie. You can see I averaged 8.5 a pop with that. That's crazy. Uh, you go ahead and motion the strong receiver to the weak side and motion snap it. Uh, you do have eye tight. You can check out my YouTube. I did an entire scheme with passing and running out of this eye tight. Uh, other than that, we all know split close pats is a formation that's heavily used. You see a little a bit of ace slot, a little bit of wing flex. Um, other than that, Y off trips is, is fairly popular. D Croft runs that. You could watch him stream to learn that. Eh, trips has kind of been nuked. Uh, they have a pretty good bunch. You'll see people run their bunch. Uh, that's really what's in there now. You do have some Wildcat with the Patriots as well. So let's hop into the last playbook, which is going to be for squads. So if you play squads, stay tuned and check that out. All right, so this is going to be Carolina Panthers. This is going to be the best playbook for squads uh, and also a great playbook for running out of heavy sets in maybe a little less conventional ways. Ah, shut up, person. Uh, so like Heavy Panther, you know, you've got your uh, your QB Blast, which is always a great play. Um, you know, in single back, they've got like an ace double wing here, which is just a heavy lineup and kind of smashing type of a, you know, good for squads. Uh, so you've got some good ways to run out. You know, this Wildcat is obviously, you know, Wildcat can be effective, touch, touch pass. Uh, but, 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 really... This RPO read bubble, so if you have a user sit on a bubble and just run a route and you put uh, grab and go on that receiver, uh, if, if the users can be on the same pa uh, you know, page, if the guy can run a good route and the quarterback you know, reads it and, and does the correct thing within the reads, uh, and then when they start sitting on that, you just switch to inside zone and the inside zone play opens wide up. Uh, you know, that's an extremely effective little one-two punch uh, that really makes up the majority of our squad's offense when we play. Uh, another way you can do that is with the, the uh, stretch alert bubble, right? And then you just make the read. If, you know, like I'll usually run up the seam or run a slant, and then the second they're worrying about that, then I'll actually run the bubble. And again, you got grab and go. It's like having joystick, you're gone. Uh, real easy to house something. So those would be the reasons why I would use Panthers for squads. Damn boys, like, comment, subscribe, man. I hope y'all enjoyed this. Peace.